okay, we've got our gun loaded, and we've got it protected within the uh, uh, within my coveralls. Uh, we're now going to get um, ready for entering the cow, so we're going to take a plastic sleeve, disposable plastic sleeve, and uh, so what I'll do is just to make sure that they blow it up. And I'm uh, going into the cow with my left hand, so I'm going to put the, um, the glove on my left hand. And I'll pull it up. Now I've got a small hemostat here that I use to clip, keep it up from falling back down. You can also use a, um, um, an elastic band if you, if you so wish. I also have got a number of paper towels already uh, that I can use to, um, to wipe the towel off with. And now I'm going to use some lube. Now it's critical that you do use lube. Uh, there's uh, mineral oils that's what we have here. There's also a, uh, an AI gel that can be used or you can use a small amount of uh, vegetable soap. Uh, but it's important that you do use lube uh, to help facilitate getting your glove uh, into the rectum of the cow. So I'm going to put just a little bit on, you don't need much, and you just work it in between your, your fingers uh, of your gloved hand, and I will also have a paper towel uh, ready to go. So Now it's important that as you're approaching the cow that she does know that you're there, uh, so uh, you don't spook her and she doesn't uh, try to kick back, so you let her know that you're there. Also, once I stand behind the cow, I'm going to stand sideways to her so that if she does throw a boot, uh, it possibly will go in there in front or behind me, and I'm offering less of a target. Got my paper towel in one hand. I'm going to pick up the tail. I'm going to take my pointed fingers, and I'm going to insert my hand uh, with my pointed fingers into the, into the rectum of the cow. Next thing I do in one motion is get rid of the tail. Flip it over and you'll then be able to block it with your, with your forearm to keep it from getting in the way. Okay, uh, once I've got my hand inserted in the uh, rectum of the cow, the cow is going to start to push back and we're going to use some of those uh, convulsions in there to, uh, to pull the manure back out. Once I'm, when I'm pulling the manure out, I do not take my hand out of the rectum. Uh, you want to leave your hand inside. If you do pull your hand out of the rectum, she's going to suck air in past your arm and that just uh, blows the whole rectum up and you don't get a good feel for, for the cervix. Once I've um, got the manure out, or as much of it as I can, I'm going to then take my paper towels and I'm going to wipe down. I'm going to go down and away. I'm on the other side, the left side, I'm going down and away. And one more just to uh, make sure that we're, we're clean. I'm using a separate paper towel each time uh, just so that I don't track uh, unnecessary uh, manure back where I've wiped. I've got another paper towel that I've folded up and I'm just left leaving it into the cleft of the vulva lips. Like so, opens up the vulva. Okay, I'm now entering the gun in through the uh, open lips of the vulva, and I'm running it along a 45 degree angle. Okay. So I'm now progressing the gun up along the, uh, the vagina of the cow. I have also now palpated the cervix, and I have the cervix within the uh, grasp of my hand, and I have moved the gun up onto the face of the cervical loss of the front of the cervix, and I'm now steering the, the gun into the, uh, into the cervical canal. She's got a nice long cylindrical cervix. I've got my fingers right around it and I can manipulate that cervix now. And, and so my gun is now passing through. I'm into the first ring. Uh, a little more manipulation and pass the second. I'm now past the third cervical ring. I'm now swinging my hand around the um, uh, cervix and bringing my index finger perpendicular down past the end of the uh, juncture of the cervix and the body of the uterus. And I can now feel my rod tip coming out and uh, just double check myself to make sure that I'm at the uh, juncture of the cervical canal and the body of the uterus and I am now going to inseminate or inoculate the semen into the body of the uterus. Uh, as you're inoculating that semen into it, you want to count between five and seven. You want a slow, steady, even deposition of semen into the uterine body. And if she kicks or belches or shifts position on you as you're depressing the plunger, stop, 
stay with her, lean against her, let her settle back down, and then re-identify your rod tip. If you don't re-identify your rod tip, she only has to take a half a step back and you can be up the right horn. So I'm going to just re-identify and then I will continue to deposit the rest of the semen into the uterine body. Once I'm finished uh, depositing the semen, I'm going to pull the gun back slow and steady and I will exit the, the uh, rectum of the cow.